Today I want to introduce you to the city that I am moving to very soon. I had the chance to go visit Asheville, North Carolina. Actually, it was like not that long ago, like less than a month ago. And uh, we really liked it and we're moving there soon. Go watch my other video if you're like, whoa, what? The whole video explains it. Today, I'm basically doing a brief introduction of what the city that we're moving to is like. I know there's a lot of you guys who have heard of Asheville, but me personally, I never knew about Asheville before I went to North Carolina and everyone apparently flagged me as a hippie right away or something. And they were like, you're gonna love Asheville. I was with family, so I didn't do a whole lot of talking. I just have a lot of clips with not a whole lot of interesting audio, so let me walk you through this. Let's do it. So Asheville is known as kind of like this weird liberal hippie bubble in North Carolina. It's actually in western North Carolina, and it's kind of tucked away in some different sections of the Appalachian Mountains. So since it's tucked away in the mountains, we got to stay in an Airbnb that had just a really beautiful view. It was kind of, honestly, the view wasn't like this panoramic thing. It was a very affordable Airbnb. I'll link it down below. Like, if you have a whole family going for the quality of the Airbnb. It's got a porch and a hammock and all this stuff. Like this is a good Airbnb. We very much enjoyed it. So here's a little bit of a tour so you can see. Um, I really liked uh, how the kitchen was stocked. That was crazy. I got to eat some coconut milk ice cream, which I was not expecting. Everything was super clean. The host was ridiculously nice. We took her up on a lot of suggestions of places to go. It was a great experience. I think the only downside of this uh, Airbnb and one thing that I am going to note for a few future homes is that I really didn't like how the two bedrooms each had a door going to the bathrooms. Very efficient, but the thing was is since there's two doors, I could never tell if anyone was in there peeing or not, so I'm like, I'll just sneak in and see what happens. The Airbnb is very, very close to downtown Asheville, which is a really fun place. I want to explore more. Asheville is kind of this uh, artsy, foody, very craft beer heavy community. There are basically a crap load of breweries, a ton of restaurants, and the people were really fun to talk to. We actually met a couple different people along the way, had a really good time. I'm actually going to be making a whole separate video about everything we ate and all the beer I tried when we were in Asheville. And I'm also going to make a third video about the Blue Ridge Parkway, which we got to drive on. There was even an arts festival going on at the time, and it was not too far away from like that city hall area, which is really beautiful. One of my favorite things I saw in downtown Asheville was um, the music scene. There were buskers in different places along the main drag. And then I also saw, I can't remember the name of it, I'll put it on the screen, something on the green. But basically it's these like free concerts that they do, and it's been going on for a very long time time. I have to admit, I don't get super excited about like visual art, but I get very excited about music. That's my art. So it's good. It should be kind of interesting to get back into that. Did you know I have a music minor? <laughs> I played oboe in college. I also love that Asheville is full of greenery. I feel like I'm in kind of a concrete jungle compared to Asheville. So we are just like walking to another brewery and there's just all these beautiful flowers and trees. It was just, it was so cool. One of the musty places in Asheville that we got to go see is the Grove Park Inn and the big reason that you need to go, it's, it's basically this super fancy hotel owned by the Omni Hotel chain. The reason people go is this view. very short clip. This is West Asheville. I was pitched this whole thing about how great West Asheville is and I think I just can't find what the main drag is. I don't know, we'll figure it out. All I saw was people doing CrossFit, which I found very interesting. <laughs> Lastly, we went on some little excursions while we were in Asheville, the first one being Waynesville. That is a town nearby. It's really close to the Great Smokies. It's like an insanely beautiful area. Honestly, I do not want to live there though because it is it is a, an older community for sure. It just, it's got a different vibe than Nashville. You'll get all this over time. like a lot of North Carolina is has this like certain vibe to it to me that is is something that I have trouble identifying with I think it's like the typical southern like idea of you know what the south is and Asheville feels like kind of weirdly west coasty to me or just like it's just its own thing it's its own thing it's very odd <laughs> Thank you. 
it's, it's a little oddball. So we're gonna discover more about it together, but I really got a good feeling while I was there. Also, it's like two hours away from Dollywood, so yeah, that's happening. This is a super rambly, weird, unorganized video, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it gave you just kind of a little feel for what Asheville is like, but um, I'm gonna be there very soon, so we are gonna learn a lot more about it together. I'm really excited. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and um, I will see you next week. Uh, also, I might do a live stream between then and now. I don't know. We're gonna figure this out. Okay, bye.